Shit, it is a cop. Fuck, I'm just gonna film him. Shit. Oh man, he's coming right up to me. Guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another epic adventure. Today I am taking you guys to this abandoned, haunted, antique shop. Today's video is going to be kind of a treasure hunt. We're going to see what we can find inside of this haunted antique shop. I'm here with Carlo. What's up, Carlo? What's up? As you guys can see, the weather is terrible. We've been trekking through tons and tons of snow just to get all the way over here, you guys. Take a look at this. This place is really cool. It's an old abandoned antique shop and they say that everything is left behind. I've never been inside. We're about to go and find out what's in there, so yeah. Let's jump on to this adventure. It's been a hell of a mission trying to find our way inside of this place. Um, there's thorns everywhere, there's water everywhere, there's creeks, there's some abandoned boats over here. But as you guys can see, there's two big abandoned buildings over here full of everything left behind apparently. And I could already tell that everything's left behind because there's a car over there. There's an abandoned car, there's an abandoned boat, and two abandoned buildings with a lot of old treasures to be found. Gotta be very careful where we step, because honestly, because of all the snow, I can't see where we're stepping and what we're stepping on, but it'd be cool if the snow wasn't here, we'd be able to see everything that's buried here. Look, there's a boat. There's literally a boat over here. Now I need you guys to smash that like button because Carlo and I are giving you guys some cool adventures. We're actually traveling to Pennsylvania tomorrow. We're going to Erie, Pennsylvania. So if you have locations from Erie, Pennsylvania, make sure you guys comment them down below or hit me up in the DM somewhere and I'll be sure to check out your locations that you send me. There's an actual car right here. It's abandoned. So this is the first treasure that we found on this treasure hunt. Yo, look at this. This is so cool. Wow. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what kind of car this is. There's a way to get in from right there. This is cool, there's a lot left behind, a lot to show you guys. So I hope you're ready for a nice half an hour long adventure exploring this place. Um, finding treasures, this is what it's all about today, finding treasures. So apparently this is the only way in through this tight ass squeeze. Oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to squeeze in this. I'm not exactly a tiny person. Ugh. We're gonna get dirty, we're gonna get snowed on, but it's all good, it's for the adventure. Oh my goodness. Dude, everything is left inside. I'm gonna get my light out as soon as I get inside of here. All right, guys, I'm the first one in. I know my screen's a bit blurry, but I got snow all over. Do not step on that. That's uh, I'm not frozen 100% no? yet. No, I don't think so. Step on that box right there. Ooh, yeah. Look at this place. We're in the basement, I guess. We're gonna go upstairs. There's a lot of treasures down here, but apparently the good treasures are upstairs. Oh, how the flip are we gonna get across this ice here? I don't think it's frozen solid. Nope, definitely not frozen solid. No, no, wow, on. yeah, we're definitely getting wet on this one, but hey, it's worth it for oh, the adventure. Oh. All right, guys, we are building ourselves a walkway across the icy water. I think this is actually enough, Carlo. Sure. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh God, that was scary. I am wearing waterproof boots, but still, I don't wanna get cold and wet. No, you're good to go, bro, I'm telling you. That's good. Sure. Yeah, do it, bro. Go for it. Shit. Show the sergeants. Look at him. He's covered in snow. Or cocaine. One or the other. I don't know. Move, I didn't jump that. <laughs> do it, Carlo. Do it. Come on, Carlo. You got this. Come on, Carlo. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, come on. Just jump across. Let's go. You got it. Good stuff. Go. So, as we're trying to get inside right now, holy crap. Dude, everything is left behind. We're coming out of the basement right now. Oh, this place is so cool. I can't wait to show you guys what's in here. Oh. Come on up, Carlo. Yeah, because I can get up. Give me your hand. Let's go. You got this. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. 
Dude, look at this place. There's so many treasures here. Everything is left behind. Now, keep in mind, we, we are not going to be taking anything from here. We're just going to be documenting, filming, seeing if you can find something haunted in here and spooky. Um, but mostly, we're here to find treasures, cool treasures to film for y'all. All right, before we move along, guys, we are risking our life. We are risking freezing in the freaking icy cold weather and the conditions. All I need from you guys is to grab yourself some LAL merch. I'm putting some of the, these hats on my website right now. Go check them out. Link is down below. Teespring.com slash LEL merch. I'll leave a link. It helps support the adventures. It helps support the travels. It helps support me getting my tires fixed. See, look, guys, my car is broken and my tire needs to be fixed. So it helps with that, too. No, real talk, guys. Go show some support to my LEL merch. It's a movement. It's a positive movement. It's all about positivity. When you wear the LEL brand, it means you're trying to make your life positive. Without further ado, let's get on this adventure and find some treasures. I can't believe how much is left behind in this place. I've never seen this much cool stuff in one place. Like, there's a furnace over there. There's, like, clocks on the wall over here. There's, like, plates everywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. This is some really old school stuff here. I wonder how long this has been here for. Honestly, I don't know. It doesn't say, but pretty cool. There's so much left behind. I want to find it. It sounds so shaky, eh? Yeah, we got to be very careful, bro, because there is the weight of the snow on the house right now. What is this thing over here? It's like a light fixture. Is it just me or is this thing just moving by itself? I didn't touch this. I think Carlo did. Yo, Carlo, come check this out right now. Bro, look at this. Records after records. Aren't these, like, worth a lot of money? Probably. What is this? These guys look like the Beatles, what they're called, the Goths. Never heard of them. But there's all these record tapes here. This is probably worth a lot of money, isn't it? Probably. I mean to a collector I guess but that's so cool so here's what I want you guys to do in the comments below I want you guys to debate in the comments below what you think is the best item that I've discovered in this place if it's like the creepiest if it's the coolest if it's the most expensive I want you guys to have crazy discussions down below and let us know which items that I picked up and I've showed you today is the is the best one and the most expensive one and like the biggest treasure here I cannot believe how much cool stuff is left behind in this place. Wow. It'd be nice like if things like this were, were to be donated to the homeless or the poor or someone that could have a use for this stuff. But honestly, a lot of this stuff is very filthy and it'll be causing more harm than anything. This floor here does not feel safe at all to walk on. Look at all this. This is beautiful. Just the vibes that I'm getting in here is that old school 1800 vibes. And that's the vibe that you would get from an abandoned antique shop because it's all antique look at this whoa that's so cool yo carlo yo. say cheese <laughs> look at that oh my God. camera that's freaking cool right that's definitely cool. yeah it's called a keystone i never heard of a keystone camera before yo carlo i found your beads baby your what your beads <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want you guys to do me a huge solid favor. If you guys know or you don't know, Carlo is one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world. Like, this guy is one of the realest and coolest dudes I've ever met. And, you know, we're literally like brothers. Just like me and Omar are like brothers. Me and CJ are like brothers. Me and Carlo are like brothers. So I want you guys to show him some love. Let's help his channel get to 100K. He's almost at 100K. Let's help him get there, guys. Go subscribe to him. His link will be down below. Like, go show him some love. Smash his booty, okay? Smash. Go, smash. Yeah, go, go smash Carlo. <laughs> no, stop Carlo, stop. Okay, this right here is a cool item. I'm gonna add this to the cool item list. Uh-oh, uh -oh. oh shit, okay, I didn't break it, thank God. There's nothing inside of it, but it's this like little nutcracker thing. I don't know what it's about, but this is cool. Let me know in the comments below what you think this is worth. So when it comes to this place, there are two big buildings combined together that have everything left inside. So I'm eager to see what's inside the second building. And this building here, all we've been able to find is just basically a lot of records, a lot of dishes, old antique dishware like this. I'm sure these are worth something to somebody. Um, what else can I find in here? There's just so much to look through, you know, like you can easily not see everything. And just walk by something good. So I'm hoping we get to see everything today. You guys remember how back in the day pirates used to go on treasure hunts? Well, this is a modern day treasure hunt right now. This is an abandoned place in the middle of nowhere. Um, 
a lot of treasure has been left behind. It's a different type of treasure. It's not jewelry and gold. Although there might be jewelry and gold in here. Like if this isn't an, an antique shop and people used to trade things here, then it's possible that there is some type of jewelry. And I think that should be our goal today is find some gold. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? Guys, take a look at this weird snowman. Carl, did you see this? This is creepy. This is actually creepy. What is this? Yo, take a look at that. I found an American flag in here. That's very old. It's been here for a long time, I bet. Doorknobs here. I'm trying to find the good stuff. Oh, there's skates. You know you're in Canada when you find skates everywhere. <laughs> Yo, check it out. I found some more cameras over here. Look at these cameras. These are like heavy duty cameras. I've never seen cameras like this before. Very old, I don't even know what the name of these things are. And look at this, I found John's retirement fund. Poor John, whoever he was, I don't think he got a chance to retire because there's no money in there whatsoever. This is an old school radio, look at that. All right guys, come on, place your bets, place your comments, let us know what you think all this stuff is worth in the comments below. Look at that, some binoculars. Whoa. Carlo, I'm currently looking through these binoculars. Yeah, currently, something good though, eh? Currently aimed at your future and I gotta say, it's not looking that good. That's because you don't have a big anaconda like me. <laughs> these are really cool. I wish I could take these, but once again, we don't take anything. We just leave it, guys. I don't want to take any of this stuff anyways. Um, but yeah, so those are some binoculars. We got more cameras over here. What is this? I don't know what that is. That's a Walkman. Holy wow, that's a Walkman. Do you guys even remember what a Walkman is? This is crazy. Not gonna lie, these sandals are pretty, pretty new looking for their age. Look at that, found some money. Some old pennies. I don't see pennies around anymore. It's been a long time since I've seen that. I wonder if these guys left a cash register here anywhere. Now, even if they did and if there is money, I wouldn't even touch it, to be honest. I would just show it to y'all, um, but I wouldn't take nothing from it. There's more cameras down here on the ground. This is cool. I know you guys like treasure hunts like this. This is really interesting. I've never done an abandoned video like this before, like found this much treasure. Look at this, there's power tools everywhere here. There's drills, cool. Man, there's just so much to look at. There's all these dolls here, ornaments. Pretty cool, I can't wait to see what's inside the second building. Like I said, there actually is three buildings. Two of them we can get into them, one of them we can't. Look at this, Carlo. Yeah. I just found a watch, so this, this is considered jewelry. Yeah. And I found keys to a car. Huh. And keys to other things. So look at this, this is a watch, it's called a Philip Wells. I don't know what a Philip Wells is, but I've never heard of that before. I've shown you guys some cool things in here, and now it's time to figure out how to get to the other place. Apparently, there's another building. Oh, I don't think this door opens. It's... Nope, it does not open, and it goes out to the main road, which is where I don't wanna go. So we're gonna have to find another way, in, probably from the snowy area in the back, to get into the other buildings and see what's inside. Whoa, I just found some rollerblades. And they're gel wheels. Those were my favorite type to wear back in the day. If you didn't own a pair of these when you were a kid, then you either lived in the desert and you couldn't roll blade, or you lived in the mountains where you couldn't because it was all snow. You just had to have these when you were a kid. Comment below what your favorite brand of roll blades was when you were a kid. In my opinion, out of all the cool things in here and the most expensive things in here, I think this clock right here is probably the most expensive one. I don't know if it's a real gold, but this looks really beautiful and actually in really great condition take a look at this wow comment down below what you think is inside of this lock box over here does it even open i don't think it does it's sealed shut and you probably need a key for it which i don't have damn it'd be cool to see what's inside of this thing right here take a look at this you guys i took the glass off of the clock and look at this the thing just started spinning by itself it's almost like after I took that glass off, it's like there was a sensor on it, but I highly doubt it. This is an old clock. Look, it's spinning back and forth. This is really cool though. I think this is probably the most expensive item that I found in this place. I like it a lot though. I doubt it's real gold, but let me know in the comments below how much do you think this is worth right here. Check it out, you guys. Back in the day, this is the only source of heat for buildings like this. Keep in mind, this is an 1800s building. And this is how they used to heat up places like this. They put wood inside of the oven. That's super creepy. Wow, look at that. How to prevent a stroke. <laughs> is that a piggy bank? What is this thing? Nope, not a piggy bank. 
But take a look at this. This is how they used to heat up the, these old buildings like this. So right now what's happening is Carlo and I were getting the hell out of here. Basically, we found out all we can find. Um, if you guys seen anything, tag it in the tag the, the time zone that you've seen it in the video. Comment it down below. Look at this. Oh, this is, is this metal? I think this is aluminum. This is cool though. Tag it in the comments below. And yeah, you guys can debate and discuss and see which one of these items is the most expensive item or the coolest item that you've seen so far on this treasure hunt. So as you guys can see, getting out of here is even harder than getting in. Well, for Carlo it is, but not for me. I'm, I mean, we could just walk out the front door, but we have a risk of getting spotted by the police because honestly, there's a lot of cops in this area and we don't want to get caught. There are still two other buildings that we need to explore and see what we can film in there. You ready to be guinea pig number one? Yeah. Do you want me to go first? No, I'll go, but you have to hold my hand. No, I'm not going to hold your hand. Yes. Go, Carlo. <sighs> Bro, I'm surprised. This place has not collapsed yet, especially under our weights, combined oh, weights. It wouldn't, it's gonna happen soon. It's gonna happen soon, all right. One of these days, actually Carlo has fallen through a floor and I've fallen through floors before. I fell through a floor of Tom's house back in the day before it was torn down. It was a video that we did with Kazzy and his, and then basically the floor gave out underneath me and I fell through. All right, y'all, just like we came in, we're gonna get the hell out of here through this icy basement. I wish we can go and explore because there's a lot of stuff over there. It'd be nice if we can walk over there and see what we can find. But I doubt we're gonna be able to get over there. And it looks like there's a secret room back there, dude. Yeah. It might be worth it. If it wasn't all this water, I think we could have got there. I mean, I think I could still get there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna try. Go ahead. I'm literally gonna try. Just to see if we can find something over there. I mean, it looks like there's a saw table over there. I don't know. Let's go to the other buildings first and see what we can find in there. All right, so obviously I'm thinking this is probably the most expensive item in this place, but it is destroyed. It has been dismembered. Um, it is a vehicle though. It is. I'm not going to say what kind of vehicle this is. I think I know what this is, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments below if you think you know what this vehicle is and if you know what year it is. So that's the competition for today. First person that guesses this one right, and I'm going to be actually digging deeper into it off camera to see what kind of vehicle it is 100%. If you get it right, I'm going uh, to basically pin your comment to the top of the comment section with those heart thingies. So make sure you guys flood the comment sections with your answers. Time to squeeze my booty. Out of here, hey, look at the engine. The engine's still there. I think this is a V12. Yeah, this is definitely a V12 engine. Cool. Ugh. This is what the car looks like up close and personal. It looks like it's been destroyed. It is a stick shift too. Take a look at that. The stick is right there. Wow, look at the rear, the, the interior of this thing. It just looks so old school and so gangster. Like back in the day, you know, you got like people like Al Capone and Superman riding in one of these things it's pretty cool old gangster cars man I don't know if you guys can see that there's a car that just pulled up there yeah. we're literally in the middle of nowhere we're not gonna be able to go inside the other building because we don't we don't know if that's security I think it is actually security oh shit cuz see my car didn't have snow on it that one's got snow all over it shit we got to get out of here right now why is that car just randomly parked behind my car I think it's a police car undercover or security but this is not good at all shit although there is somebody parked behind my car right now I want to show you guys how beautiful the landscape is right now everything's covered in snow and ice it is really cold but it's worth it for the video I'm just trying to figure out who this person that's parked behind my car is I don't recognize the car and it's just me and Carlo here so it seems that vehicle whosoever it was just left I don't know if they're gonna be turning around, but we gotta be very careful getting the hell out of here. Gotta cross through this creek. Best believe the winter is here in full force. We actually got our winter extra early this year. Not sure why. Oh shit, that car's coming back. Oh shit, it's coming back. Bro, the car's coming back. Yeah, yeah, we should duck. Shit. I'm gonna hide here in the snow. Fuck it, I don't care. We should just go. Yeah. Fuck it, let's go. Yo, Carlo. Yo. He's coming back. Go, go. Wait, what if it's a cop? I think it's a cop, you guys. Get out. Is it a cop? Shit. Just turn around. Get, get, get your shit in the car. Get your shit in the car. Quick, quick, quick. It's a f cop. We need to get. I don't know if I'm gonna run away or not, but hopefully he didn't spot us in there. 
Shit, it is a cop. Fuck, I'm just gonna film him. Shit. Oh man, he's coming right up to me. Oh fuck. Wait, that. Yo! That ain't a cop! No? That's not a cop, that's your friend Jamie. Oh my gosh. What the f? Yo! What's he doing here? Wait, what's he doing here? I don't know. What? Yo, I was shitting bricks for a second. I thought you were a cop. You have a freaking cop car. <laughs> Jesus Christ, where'd you come from? That's I was up there. Jesus. <laughs> ah, that was, that was scary. All right, guys, go subscribe to Carlo. His link is down below. Subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed. It's freaking cold. We're gonna go film some abandoned location. That really creeped me out. I knew we were meeting with Jamie later on today, but I did not know that he was gonna be coming up on us here. So that's crazy. On that note, don't forget, get yourself some little little merch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Smash that like button. Sergeants are back in full force. Erie, Pennsylvania. I need locations to film. Haunted, abandoned locations. If you have locations, send them to my email, send them to my DMs, wherever you can possibly reach me at. Let's go.